Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today, I have week 7 of my championship predictions guys. So thank you so much I must say first of all for all the support we've seen on this series so far. Literally I can't say thank you enough. Everyone that leaves a like on the series and leaves a comment, I honestly can't say thank you enough. But guys if you've not seen this series before let me briefly explain how it all goes down. So basically each week guys I give my championship score predictions for what I think the individual results will be of each game week. FIFA 16, soon to be FIFA 17 also makes their predictions for what they think will happen. But what I'm really interested to know, guys, is what you guys think will happen this weekend. So in the description down below, I will leave all the fixtures that are taking place this week, and I want you to comment as to what you think the outcomes of those games will be. Then if you manage to get any of your score predictions correct, I will put your comment on the screen at the start of my next video, guys. So I'm really looking forward to this game week, actually, because uh, Preston are actually on Sky this weekend on Friday night. So if a couple of you are going to be watching that, that should be interesting, to say the least. But uh, we'll just get into my predictions now, guys, and who knows, maybe we'll get a couple of right, right this week. So the first game we go to, guys, is Preston North End coming up against Wigan Athletic. So this game is being played tomorrow on Friday night. So this is a really good encounter, actually, because both teams haven't had the greatest starts of the season. Both are lingering down at the bottom of the table at this point in time. So three points for either of these teams would be massive in the long run. But uh, for this one, I, I don't know how to predict this, really. I honestly don't. With the form that Preston are currently in, I mean, in the last eight days, Preston have won the game 3-0, lost the game 5-0, and then beat a Premier League team 3-2. So I don't know where I stand with Preston at this point in time but uh, in terms of Wigan they've also been they've actually the performances Wigan have been putting in lately have actually I've been quite impressed with actually they actually do play some nice football and going forward they're always going to be a threat with the attacking options they have at the club so uh, honestly I don't know what I'm going to say for this one but I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw and FIFA's actually agree with me on this one both myself and FIFA are agreeing that this will be a 1-1 draw but honestly anything could happen in this game and I wouldn't be surprised by it. The next game we then go to guys is Brighton coming up against Barnsley so for this one this one's also quite an interesting encounter really. Barnsley obviously in the last week they did lose however saying that before that they were in a terrific run of form so uh, I'm expecting them to have a little bit of an insurgent here and bounce back from that. Brighton on the other hand they've been in fantastic form lately. They had a little bit of a slump a couple of weeks ago but they seem to have picked themselves up from that now and uh, they seem to be up and rolling once again so for that reason I am going to predict a Brighton win in this match. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-1 victory to Brighton obviously. Barnsley did actually lose 2-1 last week to Reading so a bit of deja vu for Barnsley there but honestly I wouldn't be too surprised if Barnsley did manage to pull something out of the back here, which FIFA has also predicted. FIFA's actually predicted a 1-0 away win to Barnsley. The next game we then go to, guys, is Derby coming up against Blackburn Rovers. So, this one's actually a really difficult one to predict, really. Once again, both these sides are currently lingering down at the bottom of the table, which is something I, I don't think anyone expected to be saying about Derby County, considering the squad they've got available to them. But, in this game, I'm not expecting a lot of goals to be scored. The reason for that being is that both these sides are fairly low scorers in the championship so far. However, saying that, Blackburn did go and smash like four in at the weekend. So, I am going to predict a Derby win in this one. It's a bit bold, really, considering their lack of firepower they've got going forward at this point in time. But I'm going to say Derby are just going to scrape by this one with a 1-0 goal margin. And, uh, if Blackburn were to get something from this match, I think they'll be pretty happy going away to Derby. But uh, if they were to get a victory here, I think they go above Derby in the table, which just shows how badly Derby have started this season. But they really do need to pick things up soon, so I'm going to say 1-0 Derby. Our next game, guys, is then Fulham coming up against Bristol City. So this one's an interesting encounter as well. Both these sides have been quite impressed with the way they've started this season. And uh, both these sides as well have got options going forward. So I'm expecting a couple of goals to be scored in this match, definitely. But I'm actually going to go with an away win here. I fancy, I'm fancy Bristol. Bristol City actually I think going forward they're looking very strong at the back as well they're looking quite stable and uh, Frankie Fielding actually put in a fantastic performance in the last week in the last game they had so I'm actually going to say it's going to be a 2-1 win to Bristol City in this match. Fulham I think have had a little bit of a slump recently they started the season fantastically of course but uh, I'm actually going to say it's going to be an away win that could be a bit of an upset there but uh, because of obviously Fulham have been pretty solid so far this season at home but I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-1 victory to Bristol City. FIFA said it's going to be a nil nil. Our next encounter then comes from from Leeds United coming up against Ipswich Town. So for this one, I'm going to predict, I think these two teams could cancel each other out. I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1 draw. The reason I say that is because Leeds so far this season have been quite topsy-turvy, really. They've been a bit up and down with their form, but lately they've had a couple of decent results, so I'm expecting them to put on a bit of a show at Ellen Road. And Gary Monk seems to be getting the best out of these players. He seems to be getting to know these players a lot better than he was at the start of the season, so that's the reason they've obviously shown a gradual improvement so far. Ipswich have been a fully funny old team so far this season. They've been a bit consistent and their scoring goals so far has really been their issue but uh, for that reason I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1 draw. I think these two teams could level each other out 
FIFA has said that Ipswich is going to walk away with a 1-0 win in this one. Next game we then go to, guys, is Norwich City coming up against Burton Albion. So, Burton's last match, they managed to defend fantastically and almost managed to grab something at home to Brighton. It just wasn't to be for them in the end, and uh, they did actually lose that match. So, it's going to be a risky tactic, I feel like, if they're going to sit back against Norwich and then uh, try and soak up the pressure, because I feel like Norwich, with the midfield they have and a couple of strike force, you know, if someone like Cameron Jerome's on song, it really could be a difficult afternoon for Burton for this one. And uh, I am going to say it's going to be a Norwich win. I mean, Burton have surprised a lot of people so far this season with a lot of their individual results. I mean, they've proved me wrong numerous amounts of times so far this season. So if they were managed, if they managed to do that again in this game, I'd be very impressed with them. But I am going to predict a Norwich win for this one. And I'm going to say it's going to be a 3-1 victory to Norwich in this one. I am fancying Norwich looking quite strong at the moment. FIFA said it's going to be another nil nil. Going to our next match then, guys, we have QPR coming up against Birmingham. So this one is also an interesting encounter, really. QPR so far this season have been... I don't really know how to sum up their form, really. I mean, not too long ago, they were getting beat 6-0 by Newcastle. Since then, they managed to, I suppose, show a bit of an improvement at the weekend. However, they did lose that game as well. So, uh, at the moment, QPR are in a bit of a slump. But I'm actually going to say this one's going to end as a draw, even ha with how impressive Birmingham have been looking lately. But uh, I'm actually going to say some goals are going to be scored in this match. So, I'm going to say this one's going to be a 2-2 draw. I'm fancying quite a lot of goals to be scored in this match. And uh, this could be one of the games of the weekend. But uh, FIFA has actually predicted a 1-0 win to QPR. So, that would be a massive result if they were to able to bounce back from a couple of their poor showings lately, but interesting matchup this one. Then our next matchup comes in the form of Reading coming up against Huddersfield, so this one as well is a difficult one to predict. I mean, McCleary will be suspended for this match, so I think that definitely will be a loss for Reading, and every time I seem to predict a Reading loss, they always seem to somehow do the opposite and manage to win the match. They've actually won their last two matches with a 2-1 goal margin, so for this one, it's hard to bet against Reading. However, with Huddersfield obviously being top of the tail at this point in time, it's a really Really tricky one to predict and I'd be very interested to see how actually these two styles of these two different managers actually interact with each other because it's a very in interesting tactical matchup this one obviously with Yapsan's sort of possession style coming up against Wagner's high flying Huddersfield this really could be an interesting and engaging match so I'm actually going to say this one's going to be a 1-1 I actually I think this is like the first time this season really that I've not predicted the Huddersfield win but with the form Reading are currently in and what they've been showing lately I fancy them to get a point in this one if they can get another 2-1 victory that will really push them up the table and could set a solid foundation for the rest of the season but I'm going to say this one's going to end as a level 1-1. FIFA said it's going to be another nail now. Coming up to our next match we have a big match up here. This is Rotherham going up against Cardiff City so this is a, yet again a massive match up at the bottom of the table and if anyone was to take three, all three points in this match that would be huge for the rest of the season and uh, maybe get, you know, come the end of the season these are the sort of matches which can be seen as real six pointers come the end of the season so this one both teams are going to have to really be going for it but with the the form that Cardiff are currently in, I just can't back them to get anything from this match. So, for that reason, I am going to have to predict a Rotherham victory in this match. And uh, even with the form that Rotherham are in, I think they're, they've still got something a bit more to their game than Cardiff have at this point in time. So, I'm actually going to say it's going to be a 2 0 victory to Rotherham. Despite Rotherham, you know, losing to Blackburn at the weekend, which was really poor showing from them, by the way, I'm, I'm going to back them to bounce back. So, I'm going to say it's going to be a 2 0 victory to Rotherham. FIFA said it's going to be a 0 0 land. I, I actually could agree with that with FIFA. I could see this one being a goalless draw, but I'm going to stick with what I said and say it's going to be 2 0 Rotherham. Going up to our next match, then, guys, we have Sheffield Wednesday coming up again. Against Nottingham Forest, so this one as well should be, and uh, this one should be an engaging tie, really. I'm fancying Sheffield Wednesday for the victory here, even though they had a poor showing at the weekend, losing to Birmingham. I mean, they really should have won that match with the catalogue of chances that they had. They really should be doing better than that. But I'm, I am going to back Sheffield Wednesday to get something from this match. I'm going to predict them to get all three points with a 2-1 victory over Nottingham Forest. Now that's difficult to do because Nottingham Forest so far have been a bit. You never really know what to expect from Nottingham Forest, but their recent results, obviously, they lost. Um, in midweek in the Cup to Arsenal. I mean, you can't, you couldn't really expect much more than that. But uh, they're showing it the weekend against their uh, Norwich. Their second half performance didn't fill me with a lot of confidence for them. So I am going to back Sheffield Wednesday to win this one by a 2-1 goal margin. So could be could go either way this one. FIFA said it's going to be another nil-nil. And then to our second to last match, guys, we have Wolves coming up against Brentford. So for this one, I'm fancying these two teams. This is a difficult one as well because Wolves are coming off the back of a fantastic victory, obviously managing to beat Newcastle in midweek, but Brentford on the other hand are coming off the back of a 5-0 victory as well, so both these teams are going into this with in terrific goal scoring form, so it really is a tough one to predict, so for that reason I'm going to say it's going to be a draw, I can see these two teams, I can't really split between them as to which way I would 
fancier team to go. So I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1 draw. If I had to predict one of these teams to win, I'd probably just about back Wolves. But who knows? I I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1 anyway. I'm going to say this one's going to end as a draw, guys. So it'll be very interesting to know, actually, from you guys as to what you think this one will finish. FIFA said it's going to be another 0-0. Of course they are. And then to the last match, guys. A big matchup coming up between two relegated teams. We have Aston Villa coming up against Newcastle United. Being played at Villa Park, this is a massive matchup. So Aston Villa so far this season and Newcastle have had quite contrasting seasons, I suppose. Newcastle, of course, being in and around the top half of the table and Aston Villa lingering at the bottom half of the, at this point in time. So... I am going to fancy a Newcastle victory. Newcastle really has been a tough one, really. I think they've caused a lot of people pain so far this season, but with their unpredictability, really. I mean, losing at the weekend to Wolves was what no one was expecting them to do. But uh, I am going to fancy them to bounce back in this one. I mean, they've showed quite a few inconsistencies so far. But uh, with the squad they've got, coming up against this Aston Villa side, if you look at it man-to-man, -man, I'd say Newcastle have the stronger squad. And so for that reason, I'm going to say Newcastle are going to come through this match with a 2-1 goal margin. So this one could be a very interesting match. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how these two teams go up against each other and Di Matteo coming up against Rafa Benitez who thought we'd be seeing that in the championship guys and uh, you know these are two Champions League winning managers coming up together to face each other in a championship matchup you know that's just insane and that just shows how much the championship has grown in recent years guys but I'm going to fancy Newcastle for this one I'm going to say it's going to finish 2-1 to Newcastle whereas FIFA said it's going to end as a 1-1 draw. So now guys that will now wrap it up for this video so thank you so much for watching so make sure you get your comments in and your score predictions in the comments down below and uh, leave it any reasons why you think any club could do that also as well if you want to leave a comment as to how your team played in the league cup in the week i'd be very interested to know and also as well what do you think of the cup draw i'm recording this currently before the cup draw has been made so i currently don't know who's got who but if you do want to leave a comment for that feel free to in the comments down below but like i said guys i will now wrap it up for this video so thank you so much for watching so if you have enjoyed make sure you do leave a like on the video it is always massively appreciated make sure you subscribe for regular championship content make sure you follow me on twitter it was twitter before I upload the video, definitely you'll never miss a video ever again, guys. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.